Do you sometimes wish Meghan never met Harry? No, I can't really say that. I mean, if she, if, if she met him and she really loves him, I, um, I, I support her 100%. I just don't think they're taking the right path. I don't know what their ultimate plan is, but, but everything, everything they're doing right now seems to be going against uh, public opinion. The only person benefiting from this is Oprah Winfrey. Do you think Oprah is exploiting Harry and Meghan? Yes, I do. Now, I, I don't know if I get sued for that or not, but that's just my opinion. Um, it seems to me that she's pushing it to get more and more out of it. And Apple stock is going up, you know, her show is going up. So, you know, I, 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 to have someone bear their soul on four or five different shows to 50 or 60 million people. Uh, even Dr. Phil wouldn't do that. Have you watched The Me You Can't See, the Apple series? Uh, some of it, yes. What do you make of it? I think it's a setup. I think she's patting herself on the back and making a lot of money on this. First show, her ratings went up 25%, so obviously there's money there, a lot of it. And I'm sure she gives, gives uh, Harry money and Meghan money, but I don't think it compensates for what they're doing. Do you still try and call Meghan or try and message her? I haven't. I'm waiting for them to get to me. I had tried early on to contact them and uh, never got through. So at this point, I, I don't know their number. And like I left a letter for Oprah with my phone number and email, and I said, give me a chance to tell my story. Uh, uh, otherwise, uh, you know, uh, I wish uh, Harry and Meghan and, uh, and Archie and uh, hopefully my new granddaughter, all the love and best, best wishes in the world. So sorry, you've written to Oprah? Uh, yes, I, I dropped off a, a letter at her guard gate asking for equal time. Uh, I said, I, it's not fair to tell this story without hearing my story. Uh, there, I've got no response. Do you think she saw the letter and just thought, I don't want to hear from him? Probably. I think she's you know, started, starting up her network again. And, She's got something good going on, but I, but I really I feel for Harry about that. I think Harry's being put in a position where he's saying things he'll never be able to take back. Um, that's a horrible thing. There's every chance Harry and Meghan will end up watching this interview. What, what, what do you think will be going through their minds watching you speak? Well, I'm hoping they'll get what I'm saying. I'm not attacking Oprah, but I really think Oprah's taking advantage of Harry. It just seems to me she keeps encouraging him to do another show and, and tell something terrible about the royals, which just makes no sense at all. First of all, the queen, um, I think, deserves tremendous respect and does around the world. The, most of the world loves that woman. And he's saying that uh, she didn't do that much for him, while William said that she, the queen, stepped in and took Diana's place and became a mother to him. So, and I also know that uh, by reading that uh, the queen was very, very much care, had very much care about Harry. What do you think Harry and Meghan's end goal is in, in all of this? I don't know. I, 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 they initially said they wanted to get away from the restrictions of the royals. I, I'm guessing they came to Hollywood to be in the business, start up a business again. Uh, I, I, I guess they have something wrong with Netflix, I'm not sure. Um, they obviously have something wrong with Oprah. Um, but I think what they have going with Oprah is going to do more damage than good for them. Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au as well as the 9now app.